Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing very well. I just recorded the advanced tools video. That's why I'm wearing the same t-shirt. <laughs> um, but today I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Archimedes plugin, which is something that isn't inside Obby Creator yet as I'm recording this, but once this comes out, hopefully it'll be available for you. So let me choose an Obby real quick. I'll choose number 72, which apparently I have used before. I've put down 164 parts that all say hello on them. <laughs> Great obby building, look at that. You might not be familiar with Archimedes plugin uh, on Roblox Studio, but it's inspired by the Roblox Studio plugin. To start off, I just wanna let you know it's a plugin and it is a paid plugin. So it's similar to the reflect tool. Oh look, I forgot to, uh, okay, I haven't added a, a new image. I need to make that today, that's a good reminder. All right, uh, it's similar to the reflect tool in that you need to have paid 80 Robux in order to use the reflect tool, but then once you have bought the pass, you can use it forever. So the Archimedes tool, if you're not familiar with it, is something that helps you create um, curves and arcs. I think that's what I wrote in the description. Create smooth arcs and circles, awesome. So as you can see, here's the original part. And what it's doing at the moment is creating another part that's connected to it and coming off at a 10 degree angle. So you can change all of these settings. So first let me show you the axis. So this is the X axis, it's coming out that way. Uh, this is the Y axis, so it's kind of going that way. And then the Z or Z axis, don't know why I turned American a second, the Z axis is coming that way. So there you go, that's pretty self-explanatory. Let me show you the angle. Now let me stick it to 45 degrees. So you can see how on the corner here at the bottom, it's creating like a really perfect corner, which is usually very difficult to make. So let me show you, we'll just use these settings and I'm gonna make like a uh, hexagon or whatever. I think it, is it an octagon, a sept, septagon? I don't know, we'll try it. Okay, if I click confirm, you'll see it creates the part there. If I click it again and 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 again, and again you can see I have just created an amazing shape, which admittedly this specific shape would not be that difficult to make before, but hey, this makes it way easier. If I was to do the same thing, but I was to click flip, it's obviously gonna come out the other side. That's pretty self-explanatory and that works on every, here's the Y axis flipped and here is the Z axis flipped. Uh, and then also we have the inner option. So at the moment, the outer corner is the one that's connected and the inner corner doesn't really exist. If I click inner, then now the inner corner is connected, but the outer corner is a big mess. So if you wanted to make the same shape, but you kind of wanted it to be on the inside, I guess, then it would look like that. I don't, hey, if you wanna do that, that's cool as well. Yes, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. But another important note is that it also works with groups of parts. So let me build you a little scene here. Oh, that's perfect. That is just absolutely perfect. All right, so what I could do is select a group of parts like this <laughs> and have it go sort of like this. I'll do it a couple of times. Pretty strange. <laughs> um, hey, we but we managed it. I don't know what it is, but it's very cool. Let me show you uh, the track with Archimedes. So it also works with Archimedes. Maybe you wanna make a really cool um, uh, cart box. You can make a cart box if you want. Uh, <laughs> well, that is weird. <laughs> uh, if you wanna do some carts that go around like this, you can also do that. And then you can also select multiple um, and then do them again. It doesn't, it makes a weird shape, but it kind of works. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Look at that. Whoa. That's actually very neat. I mean, once you have a couple, it gets a little bit confused on exactly where it should be placing it. So here it's, it's gone over there. I don't, it's kind of weird. That's the plugin. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did leave a like, that would really help. And also if you enjoy Obby Creator, please do leave a like on Obby Creator on the Roblox website. It does really help way more than you think it does. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this update. There's also lots of other stuff involved. There's double carts and gear parts and, the fly tool is different so you can see each other flying around. Thanks very much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.